welcome back. So today we are, we're clearly in the kitchen and we are going to do a, we're going to be whipping up a healthy snack. This is really great, crunchy, munchy food. It's great for traveling. It's great for snacking at home. It's great for kids' lunch boxes. It's great for on the go. It's great for staying in and it's healthy and it's packed full of protein. So we are going to be making um, crunchy uh, garbanzo beans, chickpeas, basically. And we are gonna be making a sweet version and a salty version. So you can, if you like sweet, make the sweet. If you like salty, make the salty. If you like sweet and salty, like me, then you can make them both. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up the can of chickpeas and we are going to drain it really well. Okay, I have two 15 ounce cans completely drained. So I have 31 ounces of chickpeas. Okay, so we're pouring these onto our towel. Whoop. All right. Now, the most boring part of this video, we are going to get the skins off. So sometimes, sometimes people have digestive issues when it comes to chickpeas or things like that. And on all these chickpeas is a tiny little skin. And so we're going to take them, rub them in the towel, and do our best to get all of the skins off of the chickpeas. So we are going to start picking out the ones that have the skins off of them. After about 15 minutes, we get all the peels and our bowl of peeled chickpeas, 31 ounces. All right, our chickpeas are peeled. Here we go, 31 ounces of peeled chickpeas. So we are going to take a baking sheet, pour them on a baking sheet. Make sure they're in a single, like, you know, they're not bunched up, they're not clumped up. And I like, I've done it both ways. I like to roast my chickpeas ahead of time and then add the flavoring. I feel like when I roast them first, they get crispier so we're gonna roast them we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees until they brown up and then we're going to pull them back out and we're gonna add the flavor to them in they go so we just pulled these out of the oven clearly I'm gonna take half of my chickpeas and well I'm gonna divide them in half basically so put half in one bowl and half into the other bowl Woo! These little suckers, when they get on the loose, they start rolling. All right. Okay, I have these divided up half in each bowl. So the first one we're gonna do is our, let's go ahead and do our savory. So I have some coconut oil here and I am going to take a half a teaspoon of coconut oil and just drop that right into the bowl. Next, I am going to take, I just have some regular paprika Smoked paprika would probably be my favorite, but since I um, don't have that, we're gonna do regular paprika. And I'm going to do one teaspoon. It's like stuck. All right, don't be afraid to use your fingers. I'm also going to do a little bit, you can do regular sea salt. I'm going to do a black truffle salt which just adds a little bit of dimension when it comes to the flavoring. And the best way to do this is with your fingers because that can help. It actually helps melt the oil and get all the seasoning. So you're just going to, and if you like them spicy, you can add some cayenne right here. Um, another really great thing on these right like this is nutritional yeast that actually gives it kind of like a Parmesan-y cheesy flavor, but here we go, bam! So these are like a truffle, spicy. All right, so those are nice and mixed. Okay, now for the sweet ones. So I have, again, half my chickpeas. I'm gonna take two teaspoons of agave nectar and cinnamon about a half, I, we love cinnamon in our household. Um, if you don't like cinnamon, you can just add some coconut sugar to it and a little bit of cinnamon. We add quite a bit of cinnamon. <laughs> we add cinnamon to, I add cinnamon to almost everything. So you are going to stir this up. 
And then we're gonna add some coconut sugar. All right, so we are gonna add about a half a teaspoon of coconut sugar. And this is gonna help it crisp up. Um, a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, just depending on the sweetness level you like. And it's gonna, it's going to look like this. So we have our savory version, our sweet version, and our savory. It's really weird because my, I'm smelling cinnamon sugar, and then I'm smelling truffle paprika. All right. Now we're just gonna take like a little divider here on our baking sheet. And we're gonna put this kind of right down the middle so they, cause these suckers roll all over the place. We're gonna put our sweet on one side, our savory on the other. Stay on your side. Just make sure that's pressed down. Make sure they're spread out. And we are going to put these in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. And here's what they look like, just so you can get a closer look. There's our sweet, there is our savory salty, and these are going back into the oven. The consistency, we are going to let them cool until they are completely cooled down. Okay, so now that they are completely cooled, we're just gonna, I'm just, I like to store them in just a regular uh, Tupperware container, and I'm just going to take these put these in a Tupperware container and you can mix them. I like to keep them separate just so I, if I want to mix them and eat them, I can, but that way they're just completely separate. Um, and like, here's the deal with these. These are a really great protein filled, you know what's in them. They're crunchy. They feel like a chip or they're sweet and they kind of seem like a little bit desserty, but it's not, it's not processed. You're not going to, you know, sit down, even if you one night, you know, sat down and were like, oh my goodness, and you ate the whole container. There's much worse things you can eat than this. So here's our container of sweet. Then we're gonna take our container. What am I doing? I'm like scooping these all daintily. I can just pour them right in. There we go. See how much quicker that was? <laughs> Anyway, so here's our container. I like to store these right in the pantry with the lid. You can store them in Ziploc bags as well. But these, I would tell you they're gonna keep up to a week in your pantry, but good luck if they make it that long. They don't make it that long in our house. So make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments if you prefer sweet or savory. Are you a both kind of person? And make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, that way you get notified every single time we upload and you don't miss anything. So thanks so much for watching. We will see you on the next one.